Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Dr. Rishi Desai. Today on Raise the Line, I'm happy to be joined by Dr. Thomas Moore. Dr. Moore has been the Dean and Chief Academic Officer at Idaho College of Osteopathic Medicine, or ICOM, since October 2019. ICOM is the first medical school in Idaho and was formed to address the current and growing shortage of physicians in the Mountain West and beyond. ICOM welcomed its inaugural class in August 2018. And Dr. Moore himself practiced primary uh, care internal medicine for 10 years in Michigan and has continued to maintain a part-time clinical practice as a hospitalist in medically underserved regions. Thank you so much for being with us. Do you mind then just kind of diving into your background? Tell us, you know, what got you interested in the medical field and specifically osteopathic medicine? Well, I came from a long line of, of healthcare professionals. My parents, grandparents, even great grandparents were pharmacists, actually. My first job was working in a pharmacy. It was always kind of a calling that I knew I was going to go into it. Um, I was fascinated by uh, uh, with biology at an early age um, and, uh, and, and kind of a calling to be able to help people in the process. So all of that kind of came together. Um, and really, the other added part about that is why did I end up going into academic medicine? Um, early on, I was also, um, I found that I had a niche in teaching that was something that, um, that I really enjoyed from early days as a, as a Boy Scout, teaching other scouts how to, you know, how to do things, whether it's tie a knot or build a campfire to going through even into grad school and being a teaching assistant uh, at my university. Um, and, uh, and those kind of things all just kind of coalesce to, hey, this is exactly where I'm supposed to be, where I can help people, teach people, uh, practice biology in a way that does all of that. Um, and, and so it was, uh, it, it was kind of a perfect uh, uh, coming together of all, all of the parts that were making me, me at that time. And I'd love to maybe end on some advice you have, you know, for upstarts in their career, uh, students that are kind of coming of age during COVID-19. You've seen, as you said, the HIV era. What would you say to those folks? Well, a couple of things, and I say this to a lot of our applicants as they come in, um, you got to really want to do this first and foremost. Um, uh, it, it, is, um, it is a long transition to become a doctor, and medical school is not about taking a bunch of classes, getting a degree that gets you a job. It is transformative. Um, it is a change in who you are as a person. Do it because you're really, really called to do this. And that's important in a time where there's an increased risk. But I don't want to discourage anybody with that fire from doing it. I have loved being a physician throughout my career. There are a lot of different ways that you can be a doctor and things that you can do and you can change mid-career but it's always about how do we care for people? And if you have that fire, don't shy away from it uh, because there's nothing more fulfilling. Thanks for watching this preview of Raise the Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series. Please go to osmosis.org forward slash Raise the Line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.